Can you please uh, introduce yourself and tell us your role in the project and what the project is all about? My name is Don Cannell. I'm a designer and lead sculptor on this project uh, with Christy Green from Radical. We came up with this concept of the Love Transfer Station. We took a used, uh, decrepit construction dumpster and turned it into a mobile mini park. We focused on the concept of love because we felt like it had a broad appeal and we wanted this to really kind of be accessible to everybody in the community, something that the, would draw them in. Um, we wanted it to be bright and loud and brash uh, so that people would really uh, ask themselves, what is this thing about? Um, it is part of this remic, which is a broader conversation about the redevelopment of the St. Michael's Corridor, and we felt that the concept of a, a love park or a, a, a love transfer park was a, appropriate for that project to sort of really get people talking about what uh, this uh, neighborhood is in terms of uh, how it serves its residents and, and what can be done to sort of make it more livable. And does this part of town get enough attention from the city? You know, I would say, as someone who's lived in this neighborhood for the last 15 years, I would say that it's, it, in, a, in a sense, it doesn't. It's, a, it's kind of a free-for-all around here, and I think that has led to uh, so the sort of lack of a public amenities. These, there, there are sort of unresolved questions about how small children get around in this neighborhood. About uh, at times St. Mike's is like a freeway, and at times it's like a ghost town. And, and yet, it's still a street that is surrounded by neighborhoods that has thousands of residents that, that live here. And I think, you know, when you think about Santa Fe, most every place in Santa Fe has a plan and an identity, and I think this area is, is a neighborhood in need of it. So tell us a little bit more about the project itself, how long you all, you know, what kind of work it went into it, how, how long you worked on it, how many well, hours? Um, we worked on it for about a month doing the metal work before it was ready for planting. It came to my house in such sad condition that the door that emptied the dumpster could not be opened. It was rusted shut. So we had to shovel out about six inches of muck from the bottom of the dumpster. We had to sand the entire dumpster, which took, uh, I think, four or five days. Of me and the youth work kids just sanding and sanding. And then we finally had it in a state where we could start to open it up, cut it open. We wanted to make it, to actually get people inside of it. Uh, so we created seating on the inside that are surrounded by terraced beds that in the spring will be sort of overflowing with, with plants and flowers that all have some kind of connection to love, either through color or the, the species name or something like that. There's there's edible plants uh, that you can like strawberries and uh, shard and, uh, and then flowering plants and, and fruiting trees. Yeah. You've done tons of projects I'm sure. Where does this one rank or how, how is this one different? Well I had never I've never really done anything like uh, like this before. It's it's kind of interesting. I'm a sculptor and I tend to make giant objects but this is also a space that you can go into and so there are some real practical considerations about just moving people in and out and, yeah. and, and also working with the landscape designers some practical issues in terms of plants and how they they become part of the piece but I ultimately I did want to create sort of an object or a, a sculptural form and and I, I feel like we've we've been pretty successful in that um, it's uh, it's hard to miss when you drive by the, the the colors and the patterning are so bright that it's easy to see it has a, a nice kind of vertical element uh, with the arrows and I feel like the the big water tank the heart water tank is another important element that passively irrigates this, but also brings up this idea of a, a circulatory system. I mean, that, that's for the plants, but the park itself is a circulatory system for the neighborhood. You know, we want people to come in and out and exchange ideas and, and meet new friends and have a place to take a photograph with their loved ones. And, 
Awesome. Anything you want to add or that I'm not asking you? You know, um, I would just say that it's been really an interesting project too with all of the different groups that have been involved with it and that's been a real satisfying thing as an artist. You always are looking to make as many connections as you can and in a project like this it sort of has it built in. So that's really sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.